Hello viewers, I am Will Keith, and I am out here today with my uh, smoker, and basically all I'm doing today is making some applewood smoked bacon, and I'm going to show you inside of this thing real quick, hopefully I don't lose um, any of the heat. So you got the uh, bacon already cooking there. Down here I have um, the applewood chips already smoking a little bit. And in the liquid thing there, I actually have apple juice. So I'm going uh, full on with the apple. And, yep, the smoker just went from like 300 degrees to 150 inside of like 20 seconds. So uh, that kind of sucks. And I'm currently running over my pants with my chair, which also sucks. Oh my god, why does this keep rotating? Sorry about that. Alright, so while I have the food going there, I figured I'd just talk about some random nonsense, as I tend to do. My hair is... Look at this, just one stupid fucking thing of hair. Just come on. There we go. Alright. Got a, uh, grill. Ah, oh, god damn that! Got a grill back here. Got the, uh, starter in there. And I'm gonna be doing, uh, steaks on that later in the evening but that's like a family thing so it's not gonna be it's not gonna be filmed or put on the channel just smoking some bacon right now for me and a couple of them for my aunt and um oh yeah another thing here I got uh peppers going got um jalapeno habanero bell peppers and then here we have uh tomatoes uh this these little ones are my aunt stuff they're kind of shitty looking and I'm not positive what they all are so I'm gonna be giving all of these guys some water oh 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 look what we have look what we have do you see that down there the little toad right oh alright um that little toad got away just gotta try to grab it show it to the camera a bit but it's best not to mess with them either way so that's all good. Um, one small problem I'm having here is that the walls, the outside walls of the apartment are getting kind of black from all the, uh, all the smoking and grilling. So I gotta clean all that off. It's pretty easy with wipes, just is gonna take like 15 minutes of scrubbing at it with these things. The uh, darker parts are going to need some more wiping before they actually go away completely, but that's not a problem. But I'm not going to show like 15 minutes of me wiping the um, apartment wall. So the uh, smoker is actually going now. You can see the smoke coming out of there. It's looking good. It's smelling good. And... Um, I'm sorry I haven't done one of these in a while. It's uh, been getting hotter and hotter out here, and that guy does not play well with heat. But um, it's not that bad today, and I really fucking wanted smoked bacon, so I'm dealing with it. And I'm getting water on my foot from when I was watering the peppers, which I need to continue doing. We have those little toads in here all the time. Every time I come outside, there's a toad hanging somewhere or other. I got one of them in a glass one time and got some pictures. Um, I, it, this is kind of like a bad habit I have. If I see a small critter, I like catching it. I mean, I don't hurt them in any way. I love animals, but I like catching them and taking some pictures. Kind of comes from when I was living in Florida as a kid. I was always trying to catch lizards. It's like my pastime, but... um. <laughs> I'm trying to stop myself from going after that catch the things impulse. Um, God, that bacon is smelling really fucking good right now. <sighs> I wish it was just like 10 degrees cooler than it is. I would be so happy out here, but right now it is slightly oppressive heat. 
so yeah, with the um, peppers here, we have um, this big fucking plant, but nothing's, nothing seems to be grown on that yet, but on um, this uh, smaller guy here, we have, we have peppers already coming out. I want the, um, I want the jalapenos and the habaneros to start going because those are my favorites. I like the, um, hotter ones. Well, not like jalapenos are hot, but habaneros are at least a tiny bit hot. What I really want to grow is, uh, Trinidad scorpions and Bucciolokia peppers, but, um, don't have those at the local Walmart. I gotta buy the seeds online and grow them from scratch. Fucking love ghost peppers, guys. Ghost pepper, that's the, uh, Bucciolokia. It is, it just tastes so good. Not only is it very hot, but it's, um, got a really great flavor to it as a pepper. And, um, pretty much any, pretty much makes anything you put it in just taste really good while also adding that great heat. And, um, trying to see if I see that toad again. I think he hopped down into the, uh, the grass over there. Ah, oh, man. I love it out here. It's, um, quiet relaxing you got a uh, wind chimes going on the neighbor's apartment which always sounds nice as opposed to the uh, backyard where you got the highway all the time going super loud it's very quiet up here no vehicle noise is basically the only mechanical noise I can hear is um, air conditioning going from a couple of apartments over it's weird because um, us and pretty much every apartment has their AC unit in the back where you can't hear it from up here, but two apartments down for some reason, the uh, unit's out front, and I have no idea what's up with that, and it's slightly annoying, because like I said, it's the only mechanical noise you can hear up here, it'll be totally silent and natural without that, but um, nothing I can do about that, so um, I told you what I was doing with the bacon, right, I um, have applewood chips, and then actual apple juice in there to get even enhance that flavor, so it should uh, come out pretty fucking nice. I'm gonna take my camera off the tripod here because it keeps flipping and I'm probably almost done with this video anyway, so it doesn't really matter much. So uh, let's see how this bacon is. Whoa, look at that. Smoke coming out real good there. Whoa, I can't fucking see. All right, the bacon is already looking really fucking nice. It's still very soft. I like, um, I like some more crispier bacon. So, yeah, it does. Bacon's already looking pretty nice. I gotta clean up my shit up here on this perch, too. I have, um, I have boxes here, the, um, cover for the smoker, which a viewer sent to me. That was, uh, very nice. Sent me the, uh, cover for the smoker. Waterproof. Good, good shit. And, um... I have all the wood chip bags laying around. I gotta organize those. Probably after I'm done with the bacon, I'm gonna kinda clean this place up a little bit because it does look messy, which isn't good. I also wanna wipe down the walls, get those all nice and white again. Um, fuck, it's a nice looking day. Just hot, really hot, and sitting right next to the uh, 400 degree smoker doesn't really help. Speaking of which, I should probably turn this down big time. I. I got distracted making a video and I've just been cooking bacon at 400 degrees for like 10 minutes. Shit. That's uh, not good. Hopefully I can kind of refoculate that without burning the uh, bacon. Like I said, it's still soft, so if I turn it all the way down, it should be should be alright. I'm going to actually open this and vent some more heat. See all the uh, smoke coming out of there. So it's um, down to about 225, which is better. So I'm going to leave it here and um, turn the dial down. And then within like 15, 20 minutes, the bacon should be crispier, very tasty, and ready to eat. So I'll um, bring the camera. N nope, I'm not done yet. I'm not done. I'm uh, putting you back on my tripod because I'm going to talk about my channel a little bit. There's one thing I want to say. 
and I honestly do hope that certain people don't see this video because, you know, kind of had an agreement, but it's over now, and hopefully this treachery will go unnoticed, but I do want to greatly apologize for my last couple of review videos. I was contacted by a Chinese company who my camera is slanted contacted by a Chinese company who wanted me to review some products from their site and they were going to send me shit for free and I'm not usually the type to turn down free shit so I picked this survival rod that um, I thought looked really nice and I really hoped that it would be decent basically what it was a uh, long aluminum pole with uh, three different types of blades inside of it a uh, saw blade a fixed blade with a half serrated edge and a smooth edged blade that bent over to like become a scythe type blade and I really like the idea of it it also had a uh, glass breakers on the ends and it could be disconnected each segment and rearranged however you liked it and like I said I really loved the idea of it and I hoped it was good and the uh, fixed blade knife snapped right in half on a light thrust into a tree and then another thing I ordered was a uh, flashlight baton and I just uploaded that video recently and that thing, while it actually exceeded my expectations, um, you, you want to buy something like that from Amazon. You know, you can get it in two days, not like 10 to 20 days buying it out of China and you save like two bucks. Um, and my knife, I got that fixed blade tiny pocket knife, was supposed to have a cool leather sheath, didn't come with the sheath. And those cut proof gloves, they resisted light cuts from one of the knives on the the uh, rod that broke but you know again you can get cut proof gloves from Amazon same price two day shipping and there's just absolutely no reason to order anything from that site and I feel just like ashamed of myself for actually trying to like advertise for them and I'm gonna make sure I never make that mistake again if I'm gonna be putting something on my channel I'm gonna know that it's gonna be something decent made out of good stuff because I hate I hate reviewing things that might break. I don't like misleading my viewers. It just made me feel fucking greasy. But, you know, I already had the stuff. I didn't pay for them. And, um... There was nothing I could really do at that point but make the videos. So, I apologize for that. And, like I said, I won't let it happen again. Now, as for the uh, future of my channel... I'm actually planning on starting a new series of vlogs... Uh, no spoilers, but it should be interesting, maybe slightly boring, kind of like the uh, Smoker vlogs are, but you know what vlog isn't objectively kind of boring, it's all about the YouTuber that you like and watching just generally what they're doing with their lives, but it's a hobby that I've wanted to get into for fucking years now, and I finally bought the uh, thing for it with this month's Patreon money. And hopefully it will be a nice addition to the channel. Oh man. Man it's so fucking hot out here. I don't know if you can see my hair getting kind of like matted down. But um. It's definitely way too hot man. I am not a fan of summer. I mean I like. I love the way summer looks. But nah man. I love all the seasons. Like winter and autumn. And that thing with the leaves. But um. Fuck Starmer, man. I got no time for that cocksucker. I've got my, uh, K-Bar Zombie Killer War shirt here. And I fucking love this thing. I don't know if I talked about this in one of my previous, uh, Smoker videos, but I like getting this out whenever I can just because of how solid a knife it is. I had this thing for ages, and it's still pretty much razor sharp. It's got a lot of, uh, cosmetic damage on the blade, like... This white shell, I don't even know what that is, but I can't get it off. Scratch, scratching that with steel wall isn't going to get it off. I think that might just be the black coating coming off of the blade rather than anything actually stuck on it. And um, I know a lot of people don't like the look of the handles on these, but I do. It's especially good because like, I'm always hanging down in the woods or in the lair behind the apartment. And lots of times I end up dropping something and it takes me a while to find it. But this thing is extremely visible. Set that back there. Um, don't really know what else to say. I'll uh, get back to you guys when 
the bacon is done and you guys can see me take the uh, first couple of bites out of that. So, see you in a bit. Alright, so the bacon's been going for a while and it looks like it's almost going to start getting burned. Except it's very soft, which, you know, isn't really my thing. I like my bacon kind of crispy, which I know sounds like heresy for a lot of people, but, you know, way that it is, is the way that I am or something along those lines. So, I'm not really going to let it go anymore because I don't want it to burn. It's, um, fucking hot. Hang on, i got to put my phone down over here for a moment. Alright, so, here be the bacon. Turning it better lighting there. It looks good. It's not burned, but um, it was like getting there. And it's not like crazy soft. I mean, it has crispy bits to it. See, all the slices basically look like that. I have the smoker off now, and I'm about to give this a go. Mm -hmm. Alright. While it looks soft and floppy, it's not like squishy, if you know what I mean. If you eat bacon, you probably know what I mean. It's um really fucking good. Perfectly done. This tastes amazing. The apple definitely helped because I've done apple smoked bacon before with just the apple wood and it was good. But this is like advanced good. So I think the apple juice in there really helped it out. Alright. Before this gets cold, I'm going to get mine on a plate. Get a cup of my aunt. So um, thanks for watching everybody. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.